Partnering with Teach for America, uh, the organization, my experience has been nothing but positive. Uh, I believe we share the same philosophy in building young folks to be the best teachers they can in turn to serve our students. And when we talk about the community with these students, um, these students have a high level of respect for these teachers, not just as a teacher, but as a person. And so going back to community, I know those students are talking outside of the school. So it makes an impact as in a trusting relationship. So these families uh, that may have had a bad experience themselves, they know they can trust, whether it's Miss Stafford, Mr. White, uh, Miss Capers. Um, they just know it's going to be a little bit easier to talk to them. So community can be built within the school. My name is Charlotte Caper Snowed. I'm a member of the 2023 core. I am currently teaching at High Point Central High School, and I teach world history and United States history. My decision to join like Teach for America and AmeriCorps, I decided pretty early on in my college experience that I wanted to join. I come from, I'm like a third generation educator. My mom was a part of AmeriCorps, so I had always been aware of Teach for America and AmeriCorps. And I just decided that it felt really important for me to give back to the education system. Ms. Snowd is an amazing teacher. She she inspired me to take more AP classes. I took my first AP class with her, AP US History, and she made things so much easier and just so, like, such complex stuff and such hard stuff, difficult to understand. She made it all easier for me. My name is Shade White. I am a 2021 alum of Teach for America. I was placed in the Charlotte Piedmont Triad. Um, I currently teach at High Point Central High School, which was my placement school. I teach Biology 1, IB Biology, and Intro to Dark Room Photography. Mr. White is a teacher. He's enthusiastic. He, he really seems to enjoy what he does. And I had him as a coach uh, for wrestling, and even in that, he's always been like really enthusiastic in everything he does. Um, he, gets, he gets his point across. I had him for biology last year. Um, he, was, he was good with biology, too. He really just... He, he knows how to speak to each individual student, but also how to speak to everybody as a class. My path into education was definitely unconventional, to say the least. I initially thought that I was going to go into medical school, um, and I watched my wife go through it first, and that was a very eye-opening experience, to say the least. I was exploring some other options, and Teach for America was recommended to me by someone who was a fellow resident advisor in my time in undergrad. Um, I took the interview in my junior year and got accepted as an early core member, and I've not looked back since. I've found a passion for education and very much enjoy it. Um, Teach for America really levied some skills and strategies that I wouldn't have had time to do otherwise doing lateral entry or some other program. So I'm very, very thankful for the pre-training services and all of the core um, development opportunities that were offered to me in my time. And then as well with RISE, the uh, post-TFA fellowship that I'm a part of right now, it's been phenomenal for both developing my classroom management skills, pedagogy, but also just cultivating student-teacher relationships. TFA's North Carolina RISE Fellowship is indeed our answer to teacher retention. Um, it is also an application-based process. You apply, uh, you enter your cohort, and then you are amongst others who are also dedicated to the work beyond their first two years of service. I have the pleasure of working with some incredible fellows in my cohort. Shade White, Cassidy Stafford, um, have pursued the path of ed innovation in really, really, really beautiful ways. Cassidy Stafford, 2021 core member. I'm at High Point Central teaching high school math. I knew that I wanted to stay beyond the two year original commitment. Um, and so when RISE came up and that became an option, I definitely wanted to apply for it. And again, it's just additional professional development and getting to meet with like-minded people who are also still staying within education and so, um, a lot of them are looking at kind of the broader picture of like how do I help not just my current students in the classroom but all students throughout North Carolina and throughout the United States. Miss Stafford, she helps me a lot. She's there when I need her, when I don't understand anything. She's there to make me understand. I'm taking IB classes, which is uh, more demanding um, academically, 
and she's very like um, aware of how demanding it is and able to adjust for that. So for example, my first couple of months of school, I was really struggling with the course load and I had come in class one day and she had wrote a little a, like a little letter and put a sticker on it and had like, like a really heartfelt note about how she was proud of me and how I was doing very well and keep trying because I'm almost about to graduate. So that's just one of the things that shows just how like she notices how you're struggling or how that you're trying to try in the class. I believe in just the past two years, based on the preliminary scores we got, our attendance rate, the massive discipline reduction, I can go on and on about our data. There's not one piece of our data that is going backwards. And so to me, that says a lot about the experience the students are receiving here at High Point Central. And to be honest, I feel like we've just begun.